Yeah, yeah man, I really felt what you said the other day. You know, asking if this should be the last one, the last tour. And you know, it's hard. It's hard. Man. You, how you said, you know, that. You know, it's hard to let go. You know, it's not about being tired or, or having the convenience of just saying, "All right, I'm done." It's like you just grow, you just grow a connection with the people out here. And so in a way, it's like you, you built you built such a strong bridge with everyone here. You know, it's like why stop? <laughs> to uh, Cabana to One City in the Visaya. Pretty really excited because I've never been there. Um, it's a new generation of B-Boys. A lot a year old so I'm really I'm really, really excited and I'm with um, the crew and we're with uh, Lunar right here. We're repping down, kicking it and Zulu. Yeah and we're in Cuba right now so we're on our way it's gonna take us about like what four hours three hours something like that four so and i got my red bull kicking it so peace all right right now we're heading out to cabana tuan city we're gonna teach workshop judge break streets. Oh. Oh. what's up streets yeah oh uh, is it kind of kind of what's on? Yeah, I can't wait to see the scene up there. So. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's play. Let's play a game. Oh shit! I, I was thinking, I don't know. Maybe we, we can split it up into parts. Like maybe you can just you can teach musicality and top rock or something. Yeah, I was definitely like thinking about uh, doing uh, musicality yeah. and uh, philosophy, like yeah. uh, talking about some experiences. <laughs> Shop at the mall, Robinson Mall, right? That's where we're going. Uh, or any any mall? Any, what is it? North? What is it? Mall? <laughs> never see you. Never see you. What are you expecting from the B boys here? Like? Oh man. Um. Boy. Honestly, I don't really know. I mean, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> you know. Let's see. You know who shows up. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But sure enough, dude. Like. Uh, Cabana, Cabana, Tuan City or whatever, Tuan City, you know, we show up, dude, we're joking, we're GoProing, we're filming, we're doing our thing, uh, you know, like filming, like, ah, uh, uh, making jokes and all that stuff, and then we walk up, we, okay, it's at a mall, oh my god, okay, cool, and then there's all these dancers, they're already dancing, they're already cyphering without us, okay, cool, we walk up there, bam, put our bags down, and then, the most humbling, most beautiful, 
thing happens, you know, it's like kids come up to you and they know you. They know you and, they, and like you don't know them. Like you, you don't see each other. You don't know about the city that they live in, nothing. And like, but for some reason, they know you. They've seen your videos. They, they know your name. And they come up to you and they just, they just want to sh touch you. They just want to like touch your arm, shake your hand. Refreshing to, to see, you know, a, a, you know, new new generation of b boys. a bus and try and hit um, Lawak City. All right. Peace. We just got off this bus. And Get on like, bus. <laughs> dude, I don't even know how to explain it. It's really horrible, but Bus is a bus, man. How long? How, how long were you on the bus? Um, we were we were on the bus for like eight hours. And how, so how how was your seat? My seat was horrible. Like it's smaller than this right here. Um, really small, and puny. And I, I was just sleeping like this, man. Yeah.
<laughs> it's been there since 680. 680. 680. 680. Oh, dude, how did it work, bro? Pump it, pump it, pump it. You guys want some water? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're right here in the City. It's super hot out here. Yeah. It is really hot. Yes, it is. So. Skin so bad right now. Ah. <laughs> First time I walked in there, I, I, I felt a really, really strong energy, a strong, positive uh, spiritual energy that just hit me. And I never felt that much energy coming towards me. And I am very thankful to, to feel that way because I feel a lot of um, God's um, presence telling me that. Worry, you know, just live the life that you have right now, and just enjoy it. So, I feel, I feel great, man. I feel really awesome. <laughs> Yo, today is uh, the Lawak City uh, Skills Qualifier and workshops we're going to be doing it at the Robinsons Mall out in San Nicolas, Robinsons y Locos and I'm really really excited to see how the, 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 the b-boy scene has grown within the year. Um, we saw some some of the the new b boys rising up last night at their cipher at Marco Stadium, and I'm super excited to see what Ilocos has to show on the Legacy Ten uh, Skills qualifier out here today, 2016. So um, we'll see you guys later. Peace. So what what are you expecting for today, man? Yo, man, today. I'm expecting to see some one-handed air flares, some double chair spins, all of it. <laughs> Tina is like, you know, 
fractured bone. Oh, pony. Pony? Yeah, pony. Pony? Right, okay. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what are you expecting from the walk? The walk? Early practice. Uh, I'm expecting <laughs> to meet new b-boys up here. Uh, see the talent and see the, you know, the, the hype and the energy over here. Pretty much. Yeah, but that would have been like the <laughs> best <laughs> shit <laughs> like a video. High local contest. Oh, so yeah. is Robinson's like a, like, like a, like like. a Westfield out here? My name is uh, Clifton Apuan. Um, I'm a Ilocano from Bangui, <laughs> San Nicolas. Um, for the last 10 years, I've been going around the, the country of the Philippines to teach breakdance to every community from Jensen to Cebu to here. And um, we're proud to have some international break dancers from Las Vegas, California and Hawaii to come teach the next generation of dancers here in the local sport day. So um, they're going to be teaching this out for free to anybody who wants to learn. Uh, that's it. Thank you. It's really a uh, heart heartwarming because those kids, we were, we we've been teaching it like this um, few months, but I feel really happy for them. That's why um, the legal, the legacy, the legacy we uh, it's a big, uh, it's a big help for us. It's not just for us, the, the old ones, but also to keep on building the community in the world. seen a lot of kids, uh, a lot of upcoming kids, and especially the one, the guys we met last night. They all, they all came out did their thing. Uh, I had a lot of fun teaching the young ones, and I actually gave away another hat of mine. But it's all good. But yeah, man, it was fun. <laughs> what do you think about the scene over here? Man, uh, boy, a lot of potential. I mean, they're they're all they're all gonna be really good in the next in the next few years or so. I mean, definitely a scene. Yeah, you need to look out for it. Don't 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 sleep out on the what part? Where are we at again? <laughs> locals. Don't don't yeah. Don't sleep on the in the local scene, man. Because they'll get you. <laughs> All right. All right. We're in a local park. We're in a Masuki. Got it. Yeah. Pangasinan. 
Yeah, what he said. That's where we're going, bro. <laughs> because what's he the, can't what, pronounce it. What anything. time it is? One in the morning. One, one in the morning, bro. One in the morning. It's one in the morning, bro. It's one in the morning. I am so tired. So he's been I'm sleeping not. all day and he's tired. He's been awake all day and he's not tired. Oh, that's yeah, that's so uh, true. We're going to. Uh, uh, the FBI. So let's go, bro. Travel here. A lot more comfortable than the other one. <laughs> no, this one's good. Just slept the whole way. Excited. We're gonna head out to the Ordoneta Cultural Sports Complex and we're gonna have the Legacy 10 skills uh, Pangasinan qualifying. So excited. Hello, Pangasinan. Peace. Yeah. Um, very spiritual to me because it's my dad's hometown. Um, I dedicate this out to my dad, and if you're, if you're watching me doing me this kind of stuff out in Ota, so I'm very excited to meet all the B boys the year after. And let's go do it. And then a picture. <laughs> um, first of all, I would like to thank Sir Clifton. My name is Robert, all the way B boy Bert. Um, Hello crew, um, uh, thank you for the stuff of Legacy 10. I, will, I, wish, I wish that uh, there's another Legacy 11, 12, 13, 14 or more than Legacy every year. So, um, New Image Hawaii inspired me because uh, I'm one year babying. So, they inspired me last year because they visit, they visit Pangasinan for workshop, we workshop. Kumusta? Ordoneta Pangasinan. What's up? Hello, can you hear you guys? Hello, Kumusta Pangasinan? Make some noise! Everybody gets to learn and it's a smaller group, so it's more like intimate. They can talk to you about stuff and show you personally. And then, you know, when we're done, then you switch and go to the next group. The next guy. Boom, boom, boom. Tell you learned from all three of us. Basic, uh, basic power, 
lumid siya why dahil nagpunta sila dito. Napakalawak ng Pangasinan pero yung Ordaneta pinuntaan nila men. Grabe, ang saya. It's a great honor uh, having you here and then it's a uh, we made a small effort but it's, it's just a small effort compared to your effort bringing us together, uniting us together. Uh, different kinds of culture, hip hop, you made us unite and you made us know each other. Thank you, thank you very much for that and we hope we can see you again next year. Thank you so much. Sir Clifton. So, yeah. we got a store? Yeah. Let's try it. Smart. Hey boy for life, man. <laughs> Alright, man. Never give up. Let's do it. <laughs> Hot as shit in here. <laughs> this is all bad. I'm dying. <laughs> See the light into the tunnel. This is not good. Hey! <laughs> oh my hey. god! Hey! Steamed rice! What is that? Steamed rice! We're good. It's raining, man. Oh, ah, it's hell raining. It's raining. That's the ice. And the usual infighting. You're not the boss of it. Someone has to be. These transformers have their work cut out for them. What do you think about Boggy City so far? <laughs> Yo, man. I think it looks beautiful. It's beautiful. It's nice. What? I like the weather here. And the people in their homes. That's awesome. We're here in Baguio City. Now we're up to the skills, Baguio qualifiers. Uh, nice rainy weather here today. Right, we're here at the, we're gonna do a skills qualifier here in Baguio. This is the it's venue. Right. There's a venue right here. It's, it's tight, it looks crazy. But some power moves, air players. Air players. Air players. Air players. <laughs> Great. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, in promoting like um, uh, b-boying around the Philippines, it's hard. Like, it's hard to like just go around the Philippines. Just hey, guys, here's an event. I mean, Legacy is like, a, like it's a great event that actually you know promotes. I mean, I mean, everyone knows about hip hop and b-boying, right? I mean, uh, it helps like uh, helps you get off um, whatever it is that you're doing bad. So takes off all those negativity and converts it into dancing. Originally, because originally I was in um, uh, Bontop Mountain Province, like just like very far away, it's like six hour drive from um, here in Baguio, but like 
people think no one breaks there, you know, because just because we live in the mountains, you know, just because we're in the province doesn't mean like we can't be, we can't, you know, go with the trend, like we can't go with um, what's what's new, like b-boying. Hey, reserve Yeah. But you know when you're judging, like you're always gonna have an opinion, your own opinion, and a judge is a biased person. Period. You're always gonna like what you like, like no matter what. Manila, so it's about a few hours bus ride, so yeah, get bus ride so far. Man, I feel sick. I just had motion sickness earlier. Going for the mountains. Still feel sick. <laughs> It's crazy, man, because it's like a, like those kids really, really, really wanted to learn. You could tell, and it was crazy because the majority of them were like beginners, that, and they were like they didn't like. I, I remember I asked like a couple times, like, how many of you guys, you know, like how long have you guys been doing it? And then they're like, today. And I was like, what, dude? And like they got down like everything that I showed them, like, and they did it good too. So I was like, like even I can't get my own stuff down in one day like that. <laughs> so we're here right now at a Greenfield District. It is May 15, 2016, and we're chilling with Cliff. You know, from New Image. He's all he's here all the way from Hawaii, and he's doing a Legacy 10 and Skills the B Boy Festival will be happening next week. And we're here for the first time in like a very long time, like maybe. Four Last time we saw each other was 2013, but we did an event way back 2009. And uh, we're talking about that video that's coming up and blowing up soon in your faces. It's called Pinoy B-Boy. You know, by us, the women of hip hop here. Beverly is myself, Chuck, Honey Love, Women's Business Hip Hop, and we, uh, very lucky that Cliff asked us to do a song for the B-Boy community, the B-Girls. That's for a moment. Where are you heading off to? The hole. It's gonna be crazy. I didn't get any sleep. I'm fucking tired.
Hey, look, hey, look. J Funky. Run. Z U C D. Z U C D. Sorry, she's in trouble when I'm at her. No, 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. Why? We joined for a little. Thank. Uh, yeah, I just want. I just want to thank Skills for. It's like a mission. You, you guys are like missionaries. <laughs> it's like spreading the, the love of B by every year. English lang ah kina ka kina bisado ko. Ah. No no. Situation right there. That was such pretty. Interesting. <laughs> it's nice, uh, you know. I think he's gonna interview me, right? Is that what he's trying to say? <laughs> and the Philippines, and of course, we have special guests from the US of A. We have Lucid, Jay Funky, and Flown. So, of course, they're gonna be teaching you, and I bet a lot of the dancers are gonna be showing off yes. their dance moves, seeing if they have it, you know. And yeah. of course, you guys are gonna be the judges, and. Also, we're gonna be judging a competition, mm -hmm. and then doing, um, doing a workshop. Yesterday we come here until now we don't have sleep but even though I'm tired all I can say, all I can say is because it's in the sick man Thank, thanks for Kefto number one for making this happen I love you a long time 17 We're gonna make it. We're gonna take a boat to Cebu, dude. This is crazy. Nah. Hello? Yeah, uh, you're hella dumb. Alright. Alright. What do you think about the boat? 
I just hope I don't puke. Or get I hope I don't get sunburned. <laughs> yeah. Cebu, welcome Legacy 10. Yeah, <laughs> where you're in Cebu. All right. <laughs> Start breaking in six months. Seven, seven months. Seven months. What started you guys? Hmm? Who who helped you guys start to break? Macfate. We boy Macfate just flirted us and just he said, uh, "Well, go come, go become big boy." Then we inspect first. Then we oh, it's nice time. So we join big boy. Mm -hmm. Are you your parents very supportive? Of, uh, my mother is supporting, but my my grandma not. We don't like, but it's my habit now. So I just keep breaking and breaking. It's fun. It's, fun. it's nice. <laughs> Why are we walking this way if we don't know where we're going? <coughs> we're going. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yo, about to just throw a random jam um, here in Cebu. Kids are putting their heart into all this shit, the dancing and everything, the b-boying. The, the raw, this is where it started, how it started on concrete, that's how I started, you know, just for fun. No competition, no nothing, but like, here's a reward. We're gonna throw a jam, so I'm gonna smoke style, give him the skills. Whoa. Philippine shirt, 500 pesos, my love. Hey, alright, yo, we're gonna... And when you get bigger than 500 pesos, right? All right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, and the shirt.
so there's this little kid and he's been like, you know, earlier I was talking about it on my GoPro and stuff. It got me really choked up, made me cry and shit. But um, anyways, this kid's been b-boying here. His mother left him and all this fucking crazy shit, man. And he's still dancing, he's still breaking and shit, man. His kid's name is John. And he's like a religious kid and everything, Christian. Anyways, oh, this is our buddy right here. Right here, he's right here. Hey, John. So, all right. Anyways, yo, so peep game, come here. So, so peep game. We're all gonna throw, we're all gonna throw in on this, and we're gonna buy this kid a couple, of, like maybe like a shoes and maybe a couple shirts or something, some socks. And so at least, if, I mean, we can't do anything about his situation, but at least we can help him, you know, have some kicks and some food in his stomach and shit like that. You know what I mean? This is what it's about. Just give back. You know, don't need nothing in return. But uh, yeah, about about these kids, bro. Um, I went to their parents, ba, one by one. Then their parents asking me, "Hey, who are you? Who is you? Who are you? Who am I?" Like that. Then I told them, "I am the one who who guide them. This is what we do. We're not just dancing, ana ba." Yeah, I saw their life, how how they do, what they do, how they living. How hard they live. There's one. There's also one person there that my parents is, are very strict. Then after that, after I came to their home, uh, after I came to their home, they they were like, uh, oh, okay, we trust you, we trust you, you for guiding our son like that. Like. Especially with these kids, like we got 12 years old, nine years old, you know, and then not not really in here in Cebu. I mean, not only here in Cebu City, although which is Naga, we have in Clark Car, like northern northern Cebu. Yeah, we did have too, you know, and then like, we're hoping that you know someday, someday, uh, this would be like uh, like the scene in Manila too, you know. We're building it to be. In the rawest what we can, you know. Yeah. I got I got a lot of new B boys at Naga, new generation, you know. And there they are, the kids, kid rockers, the street kid rockers, baby. <laughs> and I'm so proud. I'm so proud of it because maybe maybe a few year I'll be gone in the Philippines. I'll be, I'll be going to the states for work for the family. Then. At least there are some b-boys, a new b-boys in Naga, right? The next generation. It's good plan. <laughs> yeah. That's how it is, but that's the legacy. Yeah. Like uh, when we when we decided when we were like in the van and we were like you know contemplating whether we should even risk fucking getting stuck out here because basically that's what we just did we came out we missed our flight <clears throat> we took a ferry <clears throat> then we had to jump in a van for three hours to jump into or, or four hours to jump into some other shit but realistically like in a, on the moment here like. We had to decide, <clears throat> like, are we gonna, f are we gonna like do this or not? Because if we do it, then f we risk getting stuck out here, and we just came out for nothing and shit like that. But that's why when we put that shit together, it's like, like you can feel it, dude. You know, it's like, is it, is it gonna be worth it? Of course, it's gonna be worth it. This is the kind of this is, this is the kind of place where like, you could tell, and you can feel it that they they don't. F can get this all the time. They don't get to see this all the time. This is like exactly what the tour is about and exactly what the shit that you started in the other cities that now like before like the younger generation or the kids that you taught or are introduced to B-Boy now they're fucking older. Like that shit's gonna happen here now. Ten years from now these fucking kids are gonna be like hella dope. It's gonna be crazy.
gonna take? Uh, well, four hours, three to four hours, like 140 kilometers per hour. So we already did what? Like we already did 100. Two hours. Two uh, two, two. Three at two hours. Two. So now we need three more. the whole journey just to get here. Dude, the dragged ass, man. I could not believe that we made it. <laughs> two buses, no, a boat and two buses. Two. I don't know, I can't even think straight. <laughs> Yo, I like how it's ridiculously obvious that we're not from here. Everybody in town is staring at us.
don't know, man. I don't want this adventure to end, bro. We only have like four more days here, man. It's kind of whack. It's crazy. It all comes up way too fast. I know, man. I'm gonna stay here. Like, have the same group of people and just live this life. Let's, let's just ditch out our old life and just live here. I'm yeah. down. I'm down. Hopefully, I can get somebody pregnant. <laughs> In 2010, uh, we started to battle in Manila. Then after two years, we are, have a problem to grow the community. Then I met the new image. So 2013, I talked to the new image to, to go here in Pampanga to make a, a workshop. Then after that, we grow and get inspired and motivated. Legacy, uh, we treasure it and uh, we gain more uh, knowledge, more experience, then we share it to the next generation. And uh, legacy lives on forever not 10, not 11, not 12, but uh, in, with the help of legacy, with the help of user clip and other B boys, the legacy. Legacy is forever. <coughs> oh, there's some top, top rock, top rocks here. There, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Like a kid bar, kids party. Fifty kids welcome tonight. Fifty. With who at all? Hello guys. What's up? Hello.
invincible, man. Like, their energy is just so beautiful, so powerful. It's like fueling me. I was tired. I don't even know what the f that is anymore. <laughs> like, their energy is so beautiful. And, like, I will dance as long as it takes for them to be inspired. for tomorrow the skills Philippines 2016 I am you know like preparing myself physically you know try to be strong uh, mentally you know right now I just want to maintain my focus on the mental side spiritually I just want to stay connected to to God and stuff like that and my emotions I want to make sure that it's controlled however it will go and you know like Tomorrow, I just wanna. Um, right now, like you know, tomorrow I'm expecting myself to do the best I can and just be b boy flown. On one, you know, time flies pretty fast. This adventure, it's been amazing, but uh, you know, it all comes down. It all comes down to today. I'm ready to take this one on one, and then I'm gonna participate in the crew battle and the power move battle. You know, just gonna be loose, trying to think too deeply about it, because at the end of the day, I'm here to make an impact and leave a legacy, whether I win or lose. So, from here on out, it's just coasting, it's being free. Bye. 
it feels great. It feels amazing. You know, it's, it's always been my dream to come back home and you know showcase my breaking to the people out here. And uh, I'm glad uh, you know the timing was right and I was able to fulfill that. So yeah, man. There's a dope event, man. Scene is growing continuously and like really, really, really progressively compared to was I only here like what two years ago and. Um, Man, even here just locally in uh, Marikina, uh, there's kids coming every night practicing from early evening all the way until the next morning. Um, and it's really dope and really humbling. It makes me uh, remember why I love that dance, you know, or this dance, I should say. Don't ever scared what in your front. Fight it. Fight it. No fear. No fear. Because in your heart, you belong to this community. But everything on this fucking trip has been fucking nice, dude. <laughs> like, I've experienced like, like, you know what I mean? Like, I could have complained about and been like, oh, like, it has to be like this. Da -da -da. But no, dude, it was raw, dude. And then, like, it happened the way it was supposed to happen. It was dope. Like, all the kids that I met in every city, it was nuts, dude. Like, there was kids fucking dancing shirtless, dude, and fucking in, and like, their underwear, like, My experience so far right now feels amazing right now. Like I, I don't know how great it is. It's it's awesome. The, the b-boy scene here in the Philippines is amazing. Like I feel so blessed to be part of the to be part of the um, Legacy 10 Skills Philippines 2016. Nobody could ever tell me like what I was, I was gonna feel when I was here. It was all all you know is what other people tell you, pictures. But nothing ever compares to the feeling that you get and the experience, the raw experience that you get in person. It is amazing. It's like, man, it's not what I, you know, it was everything that I expected it to be. And for me to leave an impact on people, even though we've only done two cities, I, I just can't wait to see what the rest. My name is Clifton Abuan. Uh, I've been traveling this whole country for the last 10 years trying to build what I see here today uh, through breakdance and b-boying and I would just like to thank everybody here for your support and Thank you.